Hello and welcome to Travel Beans. I'm Emma. Behind the camera is Alex. <laughs> and today we're drilling holes in a roof and attaching our solar panel. This is the final video in our van build series where we face our fears and install the solar panel, finish off our heating system and take care of a few finishing touches ready to start using it as a fully functioning camper van. We are gearing up to do our biggest trip yet in the camper van where we will be living in it for up to three weeks. So there's quite a few things that we want to get done in the van prepared for this trip. We are going to be going somewhere that's going to be a little bit chilly, especially in the evenings. So we want to make sure our heating system is up to scratch. A few months ago, we had our auto term diesel heater fitted right underneath our driver's seat, but we haven't had the opportunity yet to get all the tubing and boxing put in so it can actually tunnel through to the main part of the van. So that is our first port of call for today. Here are some items that I prepared earlier. <laughs> we have the pieces for the box that I'm going to be using. I painted them kind of a dark green color just because I'm also going to be using it as a bit of a shelf so it's going to have a bit of wear and tear and scratches from stuff being on top of it. So I wanted to be able to cover that up as much as possible. We have some tubing to go from the heater to the vent to come out into the main part of the van and this is just a support beam, a jubilee clip to actually attach this to the heater and some handy tools to get everything stuck together. I think I just like making life hard for myself. <laughs> the first thing I should have done is this. <laughs> I have to hook this bit onto the actual heater. But I put all this shit in the way. So now I've got to go in or take the whole bloody thing down again, which I'm not doing if I can help it. Hello. Let's <laughs> see how it goes. Uh, oh, this isn't at all awkward. Great job. Come on, you gotta be happy with that. That looks great. Yeah, it looks alright. <laughs> I'm a bit OCD about like clean lines and I don't like it when things don't line up perfectly. <laughs> it's just why this whole job's been a bit of a mess really for me. It's been putting me out of my comfort zone with the very wonky lines in everywhere I look. I mean, like, look at this guys. Tell her how silly she's being. Look how lovely it looks. Okay, sure that's not great. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. I have now added a control panel so we can actually <laughs> contortionist down here. We can actually control our heating just from the back of the bulkhead here. I've just stuck that on with some double sided sticky tape which is nice and simple. And then I guess also if I ever decide I want to paint this or do something with it, I can just sort of pop it off and stick it back on again. So I guess now the moment, the truth, does this work? Yes. Oh, hello. Oh, that's so weird to have it coming out the side there. I mean, it's a bloody hot day. So the last thing we want on right now is heating, but it's good <laughs> to know it works. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's working. Yeah, it is. Now that I've finished something that I had been putting off for a very long time, it's time to have a little break, maybe a tea break or something, psych myself up a bit, because next up is something else that I've been putting off for a long time, and that involves drilling a hole in our beautiful pop top to fit our solar panel. You might just be thinking that I'm sat here wasting time on my phone, but you're wrong. I'm consuming <laughs> all of the knowledge. Thanks to today's sponsor, Readly. <laughs> if you don't know what Readly is, it is a online magazine subscription that gives you access to over 5,000 magazine titles. Having access to so many magazines on our devices saves us a ridiculous amount of space, especially while in the van. 
and I would say some of our favorites are bound to be the travel ones, right? So Nat Geo Traveler, Wanderlust Magazine, but also I personally really like the cooking ones because I can get all kinds of recipe ideas and use the handy bookmarking tool to go back to them later. Something else worth mentioning is that one account can be accessed on up to five devices, making it perfect for couples or for families. So while I'm oodling at the best birds in a birds watching <laughs> magazine, Emma is looking at the next tasty meal she's going to make me. <laughs> Lucky me! <laughs> We have also found brand new magazines that we have never read before, such as Camper Van Magazine, which has been pretty helpful for looking at different van layout ideas, for tips and tricks for van life, and also just for inspiration for trips. Something that I love about Readly is that they have an offline mode, and especially for us when we're in wild camping spots, it's so amazing to have something to drown out Emma's annoying nagging. Brilliant. I can focus on something else. Brilliant. <laughs> And lastly, the best part for me is that it's actually just really easy to use. It's like flipping through the pages of a magazine on your device. If you would like to try two months for free, go down to our description below, we have a link for you. And after that, it's only $7.99 a month and you can cancel whenever you like, so why not give it a go? It is now time for the scariest part of the build. I'm terrified. I'm terrified about drilling a hole in our beautiful and expensive <laughs> pop top roof. It costs almost as much as the whole van, so oh. we've been putting this up for so long. I know, but it has to be done. We have to take the plunge. We haven't done any like windows or anything in the van, so this really is the first like proper hole cutting. Yesterday we got on the roof for the first time and marked out where exactly it's gonna go. Yep, and I made like a little wooden template of the bottom part of the panel where the wire is coming out of because it's gonna be kind of dipped into the roof slightly, so I need to know exactly where it's gonna go so I can draw the hole in the right place. But now we've put a spot for where the pilot hole is gonna be so yeah. the next step is to get drilling. Ooh. Hello! <laughs> I'm not sure I can take my weight. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> Do I need goggles? I don't know, I'll put them on just in case otherwise we'll get some yeah. jobs worth in the comments like why aren't you wearing your safety equipment? Just put them on. Mate, I'm sat on the top of a roof right now and there's nothing safe about any of this. <laughs> I don't like heights particularly. So first I'm drilling a pilot hole and then I'm going to drill the bigger hole. Ugh. Oh, it's tiring. Can I have a go? <sighs> no, definitely not. What, you just swoop in at the end of the build and take all the glory? I don't think so. For those that don't know, I recently quit my job, so now we're both full-time on Travel Beans. But <laughs> Emma won't let me get involved. <laughs> it's my baby, it's my project. Now we have our pilot hole. It's time for the big scary hole cutter. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I've practiced this on a couple bits of wood, but I've not actually cut anything properly with it before, so there's nothing like a first time try on your super expensive roof, but we'll see how it goes. Oh, that cuts through way easier than the other one. Pretty sure that's a hole. Oh my goodness, I've done it. Next step is to pop up the roof and see what the damage is. I think I can see where it's coming through, just very slightly. There's a tiny little hole. It's coming. More like the pilot hole, yeah. I wonder if I drill it from this side now. One last push, babe. One last push! <laughs> <laughs> Hello! Hello my love! <laughs> it's now my time to shine and I'm so excited. So I get to the honour of cleaning and prepping the roof ready for the solar panel. So I'm going to sand a bit of the roof where it's going to go so the glue will have somewhere to... To, to stick to nicely. Yeah, but there's got to be that kind of word, you know, burrow into. <laughs> yes. 
Alright, I like the action. And then I'm going to clean it with some white spirit. So Lovely. join me on top. Okay. <laughs> you can see there, it's kind of just roughing it up. Oh, that seems so wrong though. Look how shiny and lovely it is. And then, ugh. Look at you, you're so happy that you get to do something. So happy. So this just... will stop the mean comments, right? Right? <laughs> It is now finally time to put the solar panel on. So we've already fed through the wire, through the roof and down through the ceiling hole. Including um, making a ceiling hole as well. Including making the ceiling hole, which was much easier than drilling the hole in the roof. Um, now, what we're concerned about with this, uh, we've got a flexi, a semi-flexi solar panel. So it's very thin and it's just gonna rest on top of these ridges. But we're a little bit worried, especially at the front, about wind getting under and lifting um, the front section. So we're gonna block off the wind where it would come through underneath these ridges here, just using some rubber. Um, we're just repurposing it. It's something that we ripped out of the van initially. Um, so we're just gonna use some sealant to stick that in in we're going to fill up all these holes so it's just a big solid block um, at the back we are going to leave these holes clear um, to allow for any air or water to go through and then once all of these are in it has a nice flat surface for the panel to rest on and we can stick the panel down so the reason that Emma is using sealant instead of glue is that we have two of these and we want to save as much as possible for the solar panel itself I didn't know much about glue until we researched that you can buy insane industrial glue. Apparently this could even hold like aeroplanes and cars together. <laughs> so I think it can deal with a little solar panel. As you can imagine, this is extremely tedious to watch. And what's worse is it's a lovely day, lovely summer's day, and we don't get many of those. And we've got our friend and fellow YouTuber, Carl Watson, nagging us because he wants to go for a beer but we can't because there's a hole in the roof we'll be there soon carl <laughs> stop being so impatient <laughs> hi emma i hope it's going well with the uh, van construction i know you're doing the tricky bit right now with attaching the solar panel to roof i think it is um so yeah i hope it all goes well but i just want to quickly say hurry the f up it's sunny outside <laughs> and i want to get drunk so get your f together and come and join me for a beer for f sake Okay, see you soon, bye. Oh, isn't that lovely? Bit of encouragement. I think now, if we just leave these to set for, I don't know, half an hour or so, I think we'll probably be good to start getting the solar panel stuck on. I know, it's been a long day. Stop. Uh, make sure that's lined up with the hole. You can see the hole. Is it lined up? It's gone in. We left the glue to set on the solar panel overnight and had a well-earned beer. The next day we hooked up the solar to the power system, we installed the inverter and we added some more homely touches so it's all ready for its big trip. I can't believe it's come to the point now where we have a finished well basically finished van okay there's a few more little bits like the, this bit here and sort of and the back like little, little niggly bits but it's fully functioning we can actually go and travel in the bean machine yeah, and we do. what a legend she is uh, like, say in the comments i know people have said many times before but i think it's good for everyone's <laughs> ego to hear how great they are and <laughs> she is really great thank you <laughs> Also, I want to say thank you to anyone that has donated any money towards this project. Patrons, people for one-off payments. Yeah, live stream donations. Yeah, even if just watching this video has helped us make a dream come true. It's crazy. It's a day that I never thought would actually arrive. So thank you, every single one of you who has helped us to get here. We are now about to embark on our first big trip in the van. Hopefully one of many. So make sure you're subscribed and leave in the comments. Where would you like to see us go? And where do you think we're going? Have we told them where we're going? Mm, I, I don't oh. think we've told them where we're going. So guess, where are we going? <laughs> <laughs> we might give you a sneak peek on Instagram. So head over to our Instagram. Also, if you're interested in Readly, check the link in the description for two months for free. Not too shabby. Now it's time to say goodbye on our final van video. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God this is over, eh? <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time and beads out!